line or even race he goes right to the source of the issue and that is sin another reason why this cannot be literal Jews is the fact that one passage we are told the 144,000 come out of the tribes or a bloodline and in another we are told of the characteristics how does bloodline and character match it doesn't especially of what we've been seeing in the previous verses it is by faith as we have seen clearly a real Jew is one of true faith and that can be anyone even Jesus talking with his disciples about the Roman general said he had not seen such great faith he could have been part of Israel the woman the Canaanite woman who asked the Lord to heal her daughter said that even the, the dogs lick the crumbs that fall from the master's table he even told her that she had great faith she could have been one of the 144,000 she could have been part of Israel so as we have seen clearly a real Jew is one of faith now there's something very interesting with the names of the 144,000 mentioned in Revelation 7 that being that these are not the original tribes of Israel Dan and Ephraim are left out and we will see why that is the case spiritually now we are told in Revelation chapter 14 verse 1 that the 144,000 have the Father's name written in their forehead. We have come to an understanding that the name means character. So let us see if it is the same with this case of the names in Revelation 7. As there must be a special reason to see this group as not from the original and also the order which it is in now let's begin Judah means I will praise the Lord Reuben means he has looked upon me Gad means given good fortune Asher means happy am I Naphtali means my wrestling Manasseh means making me to forget. Simeon means God hears me. Levi means joined to me. Issachar means purchased me. Zebulun means dwelling. Joseph means will add to me. Benjamin means son of his right hand. Now here is an amazing part. Notice what happens when you line up these meanings of the name according to the way they appear as listed in Revelation chapter 7. It forms a very remarkable statement declaring how God saves the church. Now as the Bible is italicized, the sentence will be read in italics to better understand it. Now it comes all together by saying this. I will praise the Lord for he has looked upon me and granted good fortune I am happy because my wrestling God is making me to forget God hears me and is joined to me he has purchased me a dwelling and will add to me the son of his right hand what a remarkable statement this is the song of the 144,000. This is the experience of the 144,000. It is not about where you came from or which line you were born in. It is not about where you came from or which bloodline you were born in. It is about your relationship with Christ. It is about your faith in Christ. It is about claiming the blood of Jesus Christ and placing it in your life to cleanse you of every sin. So God be praised. Now, we ask the question, why is Ephraim and Dan not in this setting of the tribes in the 144,000, even though they were part of the original 12 tribes of Israel? Let's look at what they mean. According to what we have studied, the names come up with the character which brought a statement. So, 
Why was Dan not added? What was the character like? The name Dan means to judge. The reason why Dan is not part of this number spiritually is because he judges and it is only God who judges. Also, Genesis chapter 49 verse 17 says this, Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall backwards. So in other words, you can say that he is a backbiter, but yet we are told that the 144,000 have no guile in their mouths. Now, why not Ephraim? Ephraim's name is not a bad name at all. It is, in fact, a name that will suit well as it means double fruit. But then according to Hosea chapter 4 verse 17, we are told Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone.